Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that we're going to talk about tonight has tremendous implications across the entire nation for gun rights versus gun control. And gun rights will come out on the top if this gets taken up by the Supreme Court. Now, what I'm talking about is the 25 AGs from 25 states across the United States wanting the Supreme Court to take up a Maryland assault weapons ban. There's so much nuance and something is incredibly important in the way that they, they approach this to get the Supreme Court to take action. If they do, this makes the New York Supreme Court case with concealed carry like peanuts. It's that big. Now, I want to say two things to you first. One, YouTube told me this message today in my, uh, in my system and said, hey, we'll be scrubbing spam accounts. Hmm. Okay, well, so if you guys are a subscriber, just make sure you weren't accidentally scrubbed because you were spam and make sure that notification bell is still on because you know how algorithms make mistakes. And if you're not subscribed yet, I would love to earn that subscription because we are driving towards 2022 in style and I'd love to have you along with the ride. The next thing I want to say in this video would not be possible without the sponsor, The Second Press. The Second Press is something that I started on this channel to impact the Second Amendment like never before. This content that you're about to watch, the nuance and the overall picture of how this interacts with the Second Amendment would not be possible without the research, blood, sweat, and tears of the authors of the Second Press. Every Monday through Friday, you're getting something just like the quality of this article delivered to your inbox where you can read it or you can listen to me narrate it. This will change the face of the Second Amendment and I want you to at least look at it because this article is at least worth a free subscription. It's in the description box below. Check it out, please, because you will gain so much from it. And I'd love to see you on there. But now let me show you the good that that press, the second press does for this article. All right, so here is what we're talking about. 25 states urge Supreme Court to hear case fighting Maryland's firearm ban. The states are supporting a challenge to Maryland's Firearm Safety Act of 2013. So it's a AWB. It's an assault weapons ban. Arizona and West Virginia are leading a group of 25 states. That's half the country urging the Supreme Court to hear a case challenging Maryland's strict firearms law. Now, you've heard about that. I'm sure you have. The 25 states are urging the Supreme Court to hear Bianchi v. Frosch, which challenges Maryland's Firearms Safety Act of 2013. The United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit upheld the Maryland law in September, prompting the appeal to the Supreme Court. So now it can be picked up by the Supreme Court the same way they picked up the New York case. But this one has tremendously larger implications. They argue that the Maryland law compromises, quote, the Second Amendment rights of millions of citizens and bans firearms that, quote, benefit public safety, counterbalance the threat of illegal gun violence, and make our streets safer. Very true. Tremendously true, actually, in fact. This is where it starts to get really, really important. Please watch this whole video. A legal brief cites the 2008 landmark District v. Of, of Columbia v. Heller case, which resulted in the Supreme Court ruling that individuals unconnected to military service or a militia had the right to possess firearms for lawful purposes, arguing that the ruling should be clarified to extend sporting rifles in common use. Common use is the key word here because common use means it's an everyday firearm which we can own as civilians. Military style weapons, military style assault weapons, does that sound familiar? The left is constantly calling AW, or assault weapons military style weapons because if they are common use you can't take them if they're military style you can that's why they do that but listen it gets deeper this is where it really starts to come in because they use it twice scotus should not allow a state to invade its own citizens constitutional rights the release states if left untouched Maryland's unconstitutional ban on firearms and the Fourth Circuit's erroneous standard threaten the constitutional rights of all Americans. Arizona and 42 other states allow the commonly used firearms that Maryland has banned outright. So that's commonly used twice. Well, this is from the second press. This is the, what buttresses the entire thing. This is from the article, The Civilian Marksmanship Program, Semi-Automatic Weapons, and the Second Amendment by Dennis Chapman, one of the writers. Listen to this and it'll all come clear. The question of whether automatic weapons the like of the M16 constitute the kind of, quote, dangerous and unusual weapons that Heller acknowledged could be prohibited under the common law is beyond the scope of this article. 
But what is absolutely clear is that the Colby Court's ham-fisted effort to conflate the semi-automatic AR-15 rifle with machine guns intended solely for military use is extreme, excuse me, entirely erroneous. The policies of the CMP, that's the Civilian Marksmanship Program, together with the healthy civilian demand for them that has existed for well over 100 years, clearly show that the use of semi-automatic firearms is deeply rooted in the history and tradition of American gun ownership, and that they are in no way among the dangerous and unusual weapons historically outside the realm of the traditional right to keep and bear arms. That right there ties all of this together, and it would not be possible without that article, without me knowing from the article on Second Press, that that ties the entire thing together. Back it out a little bit further. Do you remember how Gavin Newsom went off and just flipped out because the judge declared the ban unconstitutional in California, and he was really upset about the Swiss Army knife? You remember that? That whole reference? Because it was a common everyday item. It all ties together when you understand the history and the back scope of what's going on. And that's what the second press is bringing here. There are 30 other articles on there. Please check it out. Description box below It is a free two week trial. And that's what I've got for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. Braden signing out.